In this video, I'm gonna share with you a crazy story of an Etsy seller who's making over $400,000 profit and how he's beating the Etsy algorithm and he's crushing his competition. And after spending a few hours digging in and seeing how he's actually doing it, how he's getting his traffic, how he's getting his sales, I also discovered that he's making an additional hundred to $200,000 passively without having to sell any more products. Now I will say anyone can do what I'm about to share with you, but it does require some work and it does require a little bit of patience. I actually created a five-step roadmap that I'll share with you at the end that kind of ties it all together so you can see the different elements and how you can apply it to your own business. All right, so here is the Etsy shop. Now, before I actually explain what's going on here, I did want you to see that all of these products are basically plans. They're DIY, they are do-it-yourself woodworking plans. And the other thing I want you to notice is he only has 61 products total, all right? Now, the other thing I want you to notice here is look at all of the ones that have 20 plus people in their cart. So that means that there is really, really demand here. He's got a lot of people that are interested in pulling the trigger and buying these. Well, he doesn't just have people wanting to buy them. He actually has people buying them. Check this out. So I'm using a tool called Everbee, and this tool will allow me to see his numbers. And if you're interested in looking at your competition and seeing what kind of sales they're generating, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description and I'll put it up here on the screen. They actually do have a free trial that you can test it out and you might want to because this is pretty cool stuff. So check this out. If I go in here to monthly revenue, I'm gonna sort it by the most, okay? So we're looking at all of the sales that are coming through here, all right? Now you can see, some of these down at the very bottom, only 90 bucks, right? But look at all these other ones. 4,500, 4,000, 3,300, 3,000, 2,500, 2,500, and so on, right? Well, I took the time to tally all of these up. And here is what I discovered. $48,205 per month that is being generated. At least this is for the last month. $48,000. Now you might be saying, well, Scott, what is profit? Well, let's look at this. If I take this one product right here, this is going to allow me to look at the sales numbers, okay, more individually. But what I'm really interested in here is what is the profit margin? So if I go to open calculator, this is built into Everbee as well. You can see here, if we scroll down to the bottom after all fees and everything, it's 86%. So what I did was I just said, let's take 80% of his gross sales and let's see what is probably a low end of the profit. So $48,205 times we'll do 80% and let's see here, $38,564. Let's multiply that by 12 months. So we came up with $462,768 per year from selling plans for woodworking. And the other thing I wanna point out here is he's not running any sales. So if you ever have looked into any of the printables out there or any other type of templates or plans, digital items, they usually run a steep discount. He's not doing that. It's 10 bucks, it's 25 bucks, it's 30 bucks, 10 bucks. See, there's no discounts. Why? Because he doesn't really need to. So the next obvious question is, okay, well, Scott, how is he getting all of these sales? That's a great question. Is he just good at SEO? Is he really good at ranking his listings? And the answer is no, not really. He actually is doing something different. He's doing something to drive his own traffic. And when he's able to take his own traffic, drive it over to Etsy, and then from there, get sales, Etsy is going to notice that those products are selling and they're going to start ranking them inside of the Etsy search platform. So how's he doing it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's check this out. Matthew Peach has his own YouTube channel. Yes, he has his own channel and he's been publishing on this channel for just about two years. As you can see right here, this was his very first video 
and it got 94,000 views two years ago. Now, some people will say, well, Scott, it takes two years to do this. But let me ask you this. Would you be willing to build an audience of people that would go over and buy your stuff and generate $400,000 plus in profit? Uh, yeah, I think anyone would. I mean, let's face it. You don't start a job at $100,000 and then the next year go to $400,000. I mean, maybe if you get a huge promotion, but for most people, that's not the case. So the question is, would you be willing to invest time and effort into building an audience that could potentially drive sales to wherever you want to drive sales? And in this case, Etsy. Now I'm going to get to this in a minute but he's actually generating an extra hundred to $200,000 from his YouTube channel. Now you might be wondering, how is he actually driving people over to buy his plans? Well, let me show you. So here's a video. It's the $6 three picket planner, low cost, high profit, make money woodworking. So if I scroll down here in the description, it's right here. And now this is going to take people to his Etsy shop. Now this video right here has 258,286 views. So do you think that some of those people are going to go in here and then click to go on over to the Etsy shop? The answer is absolutely yes. So every time that he uploads a video, he has the potential of driving visitors over to his Etsy shop, which obviously it's working. But here's the other way that he's making money. If you look inside of the description, these are just links to other videos that also are about plans because he's showing how to build a project. And then down here, you can see he has merch. Then also down here, all of these, all of these links here are all affiliate links. So affiliate marketing is where you promote a product and then they will pay you a commission. And I can guarantee just from the affiliate stuff, he's probably making close to six figures. Uh, so it's all of this stuff. Look at all of this. DeWalt cordless drill, cordless sander. All of these are Amazon affiliate links. And he's making a percentage on every single sale. So this is the power of building an audience. And when you build an audience, you're able to now direct those people to products, whether they're yours or other people's, that potentially they would want to buy. Now, let me show you one more way on how he's making money. And I know this firsthand because I have a YouTube channel. So here's a tool I use called Social Blade. And this allows me to kind of get an idea of people's traffic and also their earnings. Well, what he's doing is he also allowing ads to be displayed on his YouTube content. And here it gives an estimate. Now, these estimates are super low. I know this because I have a YouTube channel and I know that they're low for us, quite low and other friends of mine that have YouTube channels. But let's just base this off of the higher range that they're giving us. And that's $7,600 per month estimated monthly earnings. That'd be $91,200 from just ads being displayed on the YouTube content. Now that's passively. He does nothing but upload videos. So think about this for a second. Uploads a video helpful to people that want to build things like little projects. Then he also gets to offer his own digital plans and other products or other tools that he's using that he can recommend and make money on. You see how it all kind of comes together. All right. So as promised, I'm going to give you those five steps that I feel he took to build out this empire for his woodworking business. Number one, he chose his niche. And in this case, it is woodworking and primarily in these little woodworking projects that other people can build and they can sell. Step two, he started to build a YouTube channel. He started to publish content on there on a regular basis. And then step three is he started to see that people wanted plans of what he was sharing. So he created the plan and then he uploaded those to Etsy. And that's where he was able to start getting sales and really start earning his first dollar. And step four, well, when he started getting traffic, he started pointing it to Etsy and his website and his affiliate products. And step five, well, he just continues to do what is working. And that is creating content that people are consuming that get to see how to build these projects. But then just like any woodworker would want is a plan. And so he creates those plans and then puts those on Etsy and then people can go there and buy them. But the cool thing about that is when he puts it on Etsy, 
it also now is reaching an entirely different audience than people that are just on YouTube. And that's how he's really been able to beat the algorithm. And let's face it, his competition. Now this roadmap will work, but there is one problem that if you don't get this, it won't work. And that is choosing a good niche. So what I've done is I shot a video right here that walks you through exactly how to find and validate a niche. Watch that one next and I'll see you there.